Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. In this video, we're gonna cover something I missed in my initial video looking at the DLC, and that's a brand new generic unit. I mentioned the new unit for the Romans called the Droman, which replaces the Cannon Galleon, but didn't realize this is not unique for the Romans. My first hint should have been that it wasn't listed as a unique unit, but it turns out this is also gonna be available to Byzantines, Goths, and Huns, which is especially important for Huns given they previously lacked Cannon Galleon. That now leaves only the American civilizations and the Cumans lacking a good option to bombard the shoreline and clear out enemy castles. The new Droman unit is mutually exclusive with the Cannon Galleon, taking up the same slot at the dock, and while it's very similar and appears initially to be a near reskin, basically every stat is tweaked to some extent, to the point it's not totally clear if these are important or just superficial differences. That's the main thing we'll be looking at here, breaking them down and then seeing how they do in a few similar scenarios. To start with, as we'll see over and over, their cost is extremely similar, but tweaked ever so slightly. The Droman actually is the cheaper version, costing a bit less wood, but it's clearly in the same ballpark. Cost-wise, the game seems to be implying that the Droman is maybe a little weaker, though as we'll see, I'm not sure that's actually true. Looking at their stats, it's a mixed bag, with a slight advantage in HP and armor to the Droman, but maybe more importantly, a slight advantage in range for the Cannon Galleon. Of course, the Elite Cannon Galleon has even more range, so the Droman is definitely at a large disadvantage compared to that, which is available to about half of civilizations. Theoretically, 12 range should be all you need to attack most castles, though a Tudin castle, for example, actually outranges Dromans, making them a little extra annoying to deal with on the coast for Romans and their friends. Similarly, while both Dromans and Cannon Galleons have 50 attack, notice the Droman has 5 projectiles, giving them a bit of a blast zone, which is reinforced with a larger blast radius behind the scenes. While you might assume this gives them 5 times the damage, this seems to be a situation where 4 of the 5 projectiles are just for show, with one main projectile doing the real work and the others just doing the minimum of 1 damage against any target. Rest assured, you're definitely not getting their full 50 attack 5 separate times, and you can treat the extra projectiles as more cosmetic than anything. One critical difference about their attack though is Droman's attack significantly faster, reloading every 8 seconds instead of every 10, leading to 25% more damage over time. The Droman also moves about 10% faster, and so far it seems like the Droman might be the better unit in every way except range. As an aside here, one strangely technical distinction is the Droman takes 4 more seconds to train, though it's hard to see how that would ever be an important factor, and at this point feels like someone is just having fun tinkering with numbers. In fact, one of the only things that isn't different between them is they have the same minimum range of 3 tiles, as these are meant to be anti-shore units, and not intended to engage fire ships for example. A final consideration is their bonus damage, which is where the Cannon Galleon shows a non-trivial advantage where Cannon Galleons do 200 damage against buildings, increasing to 270 with the Elite upgrade, Dromans only have 135. Despite all of their other advantages, this immediately makes them look worse at performing their main function of bombarding defenses. Though remember Cannon Galleons also reload slower, so it's not as big of a deal as it looks at first. Strangely, on the flip side, for some reason Dromans have 30 anti-siege bonus damage instead of the Cannon Galleons 25. Also, at least for now, Dromans take unique unit bonus damage from the Samurai, so maybe at one point it was intended to be a Roman-only unique unit, and that just hasn't been cleaned up yet. Remember, this is pretty early access. So that's the comparison on paper, with the Dromans seemingly a little tankier, and having better attack against everything except buildings. But let's run a few direct comparisons, now that we know what to look for, and see how they stack up when it's all put together. To start against buildings, which are of course the main thing they're built for, First off, the Droman is doing by far the least damage per shot, since it has less bonus damage, ending up doing about half the damage per round of firing as an elite cannon galleon. Remember, they attack faster though, and if we look over a longer time period, they're actually not that far off a regular cannon galleon in terms of damage to buildings. In fact, they're only doing about 8% less damage over time, which I wouldn't consider that big of a deal. Something to note is that only one of the four sieves getting the Droman has siege engineers to enhance it as both types of ships have their range increased by 1, and bonus against buildings increased by 20% with that tech researched. In general though, as long as you outrange a castle, it's eventually going to go down, and damage output is more of a secondary consideration. In contrast, where Dromans really start to shine is against Galleons. As mentioned earlier, they have a bit of a blast radius that makes a noticeable difference, letting them hit multiple ships at once. This is a bare bones example, but they end up clearly doing the most damage to a pair of Galleons, at least in this case. 
Remember, they have three times the cost of a galleon and also fire very slowly. And while I found they can put up a bit of a fight against galleons and take out a few, I wouldn't say dromans are a counter to someone going full galleon. It's more that they just aren't as useless as cannon galleons in that situation. Especially if you had a few Roman galleons or Byzantine fireships in front to soak up damage, it seems like they might do okay, and even be a population efficient substitute in late game water battles. So let's see. First though, we need to know if Dromans actually do friendly fire, and it turns out, yes, they do. So we need to keep that in mind, though they also have some interesting behavior where they'll avoid firing automatically if you have friendly units too close to an enemy, which I think is kind of cool and something you may have noticed in Mangonels as well. Notice here they won't attack the enemy fire ship if there's a risk of hurting my own fishing ships, though every time the enemy moves far enough away, then my ships will attack. Of course, the main argument here in favor of adding a few Dromans is they actually deal damage faster than Galleons, even without considering their area of effect, and also have 3 extra range. To give an example of what this would look like in a 24 versus 24 ship battle, swapping out a third of the Romans Galleons for Dromans, while is obviously more expensive, is actually a winning play, and helpfully because of their range, tanky Roman Galleons gravitate to the front with the Dromans and their 40 less HP staying behind while adding some extra firepower. Just to make the significance of this clear, swapping out 8 Galleons for Cannon Galleons does not seem to be a winning move. So at least on battles of this scale, the Dromans area of effect is turning into a pretty big deal. Likewise, substituting a few in against fire ships is also not a bad thought, given their high melee attack goes right through the fire ships pierce armor. Fire ships also tend to bunch up quite a bit, which again works to the Dromans favor. Here in a quick test, you can see they do a pretty decent job clearing out fire ships, attacking your galleons, even if the Romans did end up losing this particular battle. With their advantage on open water established, another matchup they're really going to thrive in is against grouped up siege units. The combo of more bonus damage, a larger blast area, and faster firing means players are going to have to watch out for what's effectively mangonel shots coming from the water. Keep in mind, Romans don't have demo ships, so this may be their best option for taking out a group of siege units that have bunched up too much along the shore. This is also true of blobs of pretty much any unit, and maybe this example best shows off their increased blast radius. Considering they're almost as good against buildings as the regular cannon galleon and can also be a legitimate threat to land units, they feel different enough to be more than just a reskin, which was my initial reaction and I'm starting to reconsider. This is more like a mangonel plus a slightly shorter range cannon galleon put together. Personally, I have to wonder if there was at least a little bit of inspiration taken from the Roman War mod Water Overhaul that I covered last year. While the new Droman is obviously less ambitious than that project, which added almost a dozen ships, it's at least including a new ship type with its own dynamics to learn, and I'm in favor of anything that spices up the late game on water especially. The Droman is also just one reason to think Romans are going to be pretty good on water, as they already have good armor and extra attack on the galley line. Now keep in mind for all of this, the specifics here could change quite a bit down the road. We're still 10 days from release, but this is what I'm seeing from the unit so far. Remember, even if you don't get the DLC, this is going to be available for Byzantines, Goths, and Huns, so it's something you will encounter every once in a while if you play on water maps. I feel like I've been droning on about this unit for quite long enough though, so we'll call it there. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.